It's no secret that men and women are completely different from each other, and it's these differences that cause a lot of frustration and misunderstanding in our dealings with each other. The term men are from Mars and women are from Venus is often seen as cliche, but is an accurate way of describing just how different the sexes really are. Oftentimes, messages get lost in translation and cause all sorts of problems because of our inabilities to see and understand the world through the eyes of the opposite sex. But if we take a moment and try to understand each other, we can save a lot of time and frustration, and maybe, just maybe, we can all live together in harmony. Okay, maybe we'll never get that far, but to give women a better understanding of men and just how different we really are from each other, let's check out five things women don't realize about men. Let's begin. Number five, natural beauty. It's no secret that women tediously spend an average of 55 minutes every day applying makeup because they feel makeup is an absolute necessity to attract attention from men. With all the advertising that the cosmetic industry throws out there, it's no wonder women feel it's necessary to clown it up when it comes to wearing makeup. Often, you see these images of supermodels with ridiculous amounts of makeup making them look like something unworldly, unnatural, and freakishly frightening. Women, for the most part, seem to buy into this garbage that the more makeup they buy and use, the more attractive they'll be to the men they encounter. The truth is, ladies, the cosmetic industry has no interest in how successful you may be be it turning the heads of all the men that pass you by. Their one and only goal is to sell more makeup to make a massive profit off your insecurities. Chances are you've been subliminally brainwashed by their advertising into thinking that you must wear tons of makeup to look good because there's no such thing as natural beauty. The truth is, ladies, that men hate it when women cake on their makeup. They hate it when you look like something out of a horror or monster flick, and truth be told, all the heads that turn your direction when you're over overly made up is in horror or disbelief at your ridiculous face. You may even get a guy or two to snap a photo of you, but it's not because you're this raving beauty and he wants to capture this angel that's crossed his path. Oh no, it's because he's gonna share your hideous face with all his buddies for a good laugh. Men overwhelmingly prefer women who look more natural. Women with a natural and healthy glow about them are 20 times more likely to get that head turned from men as opposed to those taking makeup tips from Mimi, the outlandish and freakishly made-up character from the 90s hit comedy The Drew Carey Show. And if you're too young to know who Mimi is, Google it. It's worth educating yourself on what not to do with your makeup. So, ladies, wipe all that crap off your face and you'll start getting the attention from men that you've been looking for. And for God's sake, if you're one of those chicks running around with the orange face, have a friend help you pick out the right color foundation, because you look like an Oompa Loompa, and no man wants to be seen in public with one of those, let alone ask one out on a date. Number four, men cry too. A common belief that women have about men is that they're insensitive, that they have no emotion or feelings. While men do try to hide their emotions more so than women, they do have feelings and often cry when the mood strikes. Men have been conditioned for centuries to be tough and hard as a rock. Often when they're children, men are taught to be tough and bottle up their emotions or hold back the tears. While they've learned to be tough in the face of friends, family and girlfriends or wives, men often do release their emotions in private in fear of seeming weak in the face of others. But men are just as likely to become overwhelmed by their emotions as women. The only difference is that it's socially acceptable for a woman to cry in public without fear of constant teasing or ridicule by their friends. Movies seem to play into this stereotype. How often do we see the action hero taking a moment to cry and mourn the loss of his wife or lover before he wreaks havoc on the villain who's taken her away from him? Not too often, as, well, this simply doesn't make for a good action flick, right? We want to see his bloody, rage-filled revenge as he seeks out his own justice. Now that's a great action flick, but it does leave society with the common misconception that this is how men are wired to react in the face of emotional turmoil. But ladies, it's important to know that your guy does have feelings and emotions, that the movies are motivated to make blockbuster films that profit massive amounts of money, and seeing Jason Statham or Dwayne The Rock Johnson taking a moment to cry before they kick some serious ass doesn't make for an epic action film. So when your guy does show his emotions, 
Just let him be, as he's probably beating himself up too for letting his emotions get the better of him. Don't make fun of him and give him his space. Let him know that you're there if he needs you, and don't push yourself on him as this may very well push him away from you. He'll come around and open up to you when he's ready. Number three, men love to make you laugh. One common complaint that women have about men is that they don't take life seriously. Maybe you feel he doesn't take your relationship seriously and he's always joking around. It drives you absolutely insane when you come home after a tough day at work and all you want to do is vent your frustrations to your guy and he starts in with the jokes. Often this puts you in an even worse mood because you feel he doesn't care and isn't taking you or your relationship seriously. But, ladies, it's not his fault. Most men are wired to find the comical in tough situations. This is how they often deal with stress and they're only trying to make you laugh. Men love to make women laugh. They'll fit in a joke at the most inopportune moments in an effort to break through the tension. Men will even make ridiculous faces just to get a laugh out of you. This is their way of helping you deal with a tough or stressful situation. Think back to when you were a kid and a boy would relentlessly tease you or bug the hell out of you just to get your attention. Well, truth be told, men never really grew out of this mindset. They have this instinctual desire to make you laugh, and truth be told, men often find it to be attractive or sexy even when a woman laughs at their jokes. So if your guy's always telling jokes or making funny faces, he's showing you that he does care. He cares enough to make you feel better the only way he knows how, by making you laugh. So next time your man starts dishing out the humor, laugh. Laughing at his jokes validates him, makes him feel like you do care about him too. Men are self-conscious too, just like women. And when you don't care enough about him to laugh at his jokes, he may begin to feel like you don't care about him at all, which can lead to a whirlwind of relationship issues. Number two, men are simply simple. It's no secret that women are complex creatures. Women even have a hard time understanding other women at times, but men, on the other hand, are much simpler, which explains the communication breakdown between the sexes. Women have this instinct that tells them there's more to a particular comment, gesture, or body language, while men accept comments and body language at face value. Their minds don't dive deeper in search of hidden meanings. It's often extremely difficult for a woman to wrap her head around this concept. A woman can't help but to assume that there's always more going on. A great example is a man named Dave, whose comical story sums up the simplistic mind of men and how a woman can try to read too much into a man's behavior, assuming the worst when the reality is far from her overanalyzed view on the situation. Dave and his then fiance Jane, were driving home the night of their engagement party. The whole ride home, Dave was quiet. Jane was trying to have a conversation with him, but his answers were very short and he provided little conversation all the way home. Jane instantly knew something was wrong and, of course, was thinking the worst. He doesn't love me and doesn't want to marry me. Jane asked Dave what was wrong and he simply replied, nothing. Jane just knew he was lying and there was something serious going on. Days went by and Dave was still very silent and offered up little conversation. After three days of this, Jane was certain that Dave was no longer in love with her and that their relationship was over. Finally having enough, Jane confronted Dave in the garage where he was tinkering with his lawnmower. What's going on? Why don't you love me anymore? Is there another woman? Am I not attractive enough? What's the deal? I have a right to at least know if our relationship is over. Dave was completely surprised and blindsided by this outburst from his beautiful bride-to-be. Dave, now completely rattled, shocked, and nervous, simply commented, What? No, 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 my dear. I've been trying to figure out why my lawnmower won't work. After offering up this explanation, Jane calmed down and realized the huge mistake she had made and was embarrassed for acting so crazy. So, ladies, keep in mind that men are much simpler and often the reason behind their behavior is often a simple one and overanalyzing a man is going to lead to false accusations, unnecessary stress, and even relationship problems. Knowing and accepting that men are simply simple will save a lot of frustration in the end. Number 1. Men like girly things too. Most women believe that men are simply testosterone-driven creatures that only appreciate fast cars, violence-packed action movies, and hardcore music. But men do have a softer side and do actually have interests that may seem girly in nature. It's no secret that men are movie lovers, and they love their action thrillers and sci-fi fantasy movies, 
but men do love a good romantic comedy as much as the gal. This trend is becoming so popular, in fact, that there's a new classification of movie called the Bromantic Comedy. Movies like Just Go With It are adding that bit of male-targeted humor to appeal to the growing interest by men in these genres of movies. Adding this type of comedy to the romantic comedy makes it much more interesting for men, and they actually want to go see these movies with their girlfriends now that there's content that appeals to them as well. Also on this list of girly things that men love is a day at the spa. It's a common misconception that spas are heavens for just women. The industry's picked up on the trend of men wanting spa services like massages, facials, manicures, and more, and has started to create services geared specifically toward men. Spas are offering products that have a manlier scent and that are created specifically toward targeting a man's skin type and special issues that are unique to men. Man spa services are becoming so popular, in fact, that men now make up more than 40% of the spa industry's clientele. In fact, Men-only spas are quickly becoming a new trend in the industry, offering up pints of beer and big-screen TVs showing sporting events like football. Some have even conceptualized the concept of combining a strip club with the man spa, given a whole new meaning to the industry-wide joke of offering a happy ending. And there, you have five things women don't realize about men. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and share it, and if you haven't already, Subscribe down below to get notified almost every single day with new videos from Top 5's Finest. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we are...